And on, on uh, the asset interview, now he keeps saying that uh, you have irrefutable <coughs> evidence. I mean, today, the United States is saying that they intercepted some communications between the pilot and some chemical scientist and so on on how to do this. I mean, that is, seems to be the evidence. I find that difficult. I mean, or, you know, is it uh, a bit odd that the pilot would be talking to whoever the scientists are and so on to drop this bomb? Is that the only I'm not aware of that have? report. Uh, no, that, I, that, 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 know, that, sure. That's what CNN said because I, sure. they were told by, a, you know, a high official and so on. Well, what I am aware of, and I think there was a background or a done on this by some of the uh, mm -hmm. of our intelligence uh, officials uh, who looked and, at and analyzed this data, um, uh, what went into our analysis and our mm -hmm. uh, ultimate conclusion that uh, this was a chemical weapons attack that was carried out by the Syrian regime, uh, and uh, that was laid out, I think, in. Uh, 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 some articles the other day, uh, they, they briefed on background, uh, given their status as uh, intelligence officials. But it's pretty clear cut in our book. Uh, look, that said, uh, as I think Secretary Tillerson said, uh, you know, there are, you know, we have the joint investigative mechanism. We have uh, other mechanisms, uh, the OPC, OPCW uh, um, uh, has these mechanisms to investigate, conduct an impartial investigation uh, into these allegations. We know what happened. We have reached our own conclusion. We carried out the airstrikes. But yeah. by all means, uh, those uh, independent mechanisms should be allowed to carry out their investigations. But again, what we saw yesterday was yeah. what did Russia do? It vetoed a UN Security Council resolution that would have allowed those investigations. There's before. a lot to go through uh, there. But you know, if let's say you have an investigation and the investigation somehow, you know, um, this concludes that there was no Syria chemical strike. I mean, you already struck, you already destroyed that air base. So how would that, how would that be dealt with? I can only say that um, uh, we are, we, we undertook that uh, action with the utmost confidence uh, that it, this, that we were hitting the airstrip and the uh, air base rather that carried out that strike. And lastly, yeah. I just want you to clarify something because I don't understand it. What is it that the U.S. Army, who was supposed to dispose of these chemical weapons, and in fact they did, they destroyed something like 600 tons, which is, you know, all the chemical weapons that was at least declared by Syria at the time. Isn't that true? Would you clarify that for us? Because you keep, or you keep hearing that Russia <coughs> was responsible to guarantee that uh, these weapons are destroyed or accounted for and so on. Right. Well, they were, in fact, um, you know, as signatories to that agreement, right. um, uh, Russia uh, pledged to assure that uh, the Assad regime, and the Assad regime also pledged to ensure that it would uh, 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 give up its uh, declared chemical weapons. Uh, there were, uh, I don't have the, the exact amounts in front of me, but there was a massive amount of chemical weapons that were, in fact, uh, taken out of Syria and neutralized. Uh, so. You can't say that that effort was in vain. It wasn't. It got mm -hmm. chemical weapons out of uh, that conflict area. Uh, but that said, clearly, either they remained their capacity to produce additional chemical weapons or they didn't declare all their chemical weapons. You said the yes, sir. Resolution was also vetoed yesterday would have allowed an investigation. To, uh, my understanding was that the agreement back in that you just referred to, that that, that allowed for investigations. So it, it, is it actually correct? Sorry, it sought, I'm, I apologize. It sought to hold the perpetrators of the chemical weapons attack accountable and called on the regime to cooperate with an independent international investigation. I apologize. Right. But an investigation, uh, the, the, the resol yesterday's resolution was not required for there to be an investigation. Right. These, I, right. My understanding is that these these bodies, I mean, that's what they exist for, is to carry out these, re, uh, these, so uh, these it investigations. So it didn't need. It didn't need. It did it, not need. They don't pass. They didn't need a new authorization to, from the Security Council to conduct an investigation. That's my understanding, yeah. Uh,